Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are about to get into something real serious. A little bit ago I went out and I checked out a place called Pine Level, Florida. Turns out I was in the wrong place. Stay tuned, we're getting into it right now. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Richard Hunt here, AKA Hey Rich, explores Florida. So check me out. Recently we went out and we did a video of an abandoned town that I had found in Florida. I've always wanted to check it out. It was called Pine Level, Florida. But we were mistaken. And I apologize to all you guys and I promised to go back out and check out the actual Pine Level. But after doing more research here, I don't really think it's probably a safe idea. <laughs> I'm just saying. So check me out. Pine Level, Florida is a place where there were saloons and bars and, and you know, and, and malls. And it was a whole town back in the 1930s. It got shut down. It was abandoned and all that. Cool. Pine Level, Florida. DeSoto County. Awesome. But on my trip out there. You know, I put in the address that I thought was supposed to be it. GPS took me the way I was supposed to be going. And it had me turn into a place that was not Pine Level. But we thought it was Pine Level, Florida. Check this out, guys. So under further research, a friend of mine, I posted the video and a friend of mine, big shout out to Crystal. She actually hit me up. And if you guys look right here in this chat box... She goes, no wonder why you heard some voices. Some crazy shit has happened at that facility. Look this place up. And the picture says, G. Pierce Wood Memorial Hospital. So if you guys know me, I get, I get like, really interested in stuff. Especially when I think I'm wrong. I might have to do a little bit more research. Turns out, I was wrong. But anyway, so she tells me to go ahead and check this place out. So the first thing I did was I went online and I looked up G. Pierce Wood Memorial Hospital. Here it is. Check this out, guys. G. Pierce Wood Memorial Hospital, city, Arcadia, Florida, medical, abandoned, boom, abandoned in 2014. That would make a lot of sense to the reason I found the Michelle Obama wing and all these other things there that I thought would not have anything to do with Pine Level, Florida because of the heirs. Uh, yeah, 1935, 1950s, 1930 to 1950 era when it shut down. Michelle Obama wing really didn't make a lot of sense to me. But anyway, it turns out, if you read right here, guys, the G. Pierce Wood Memorial Hospital is a former psychiatric hospital located on the grounds of the former Karlstrom Military Airfield. What? I don't believe it. We stumbled across an ex-military airfield with a psychiatric ward on the property. Now, if you remember the video that I posted, if you guys have watched it, if you follow along with the Hey Rich Florida, I posted the video of me exploring this place, and I went to the prison, and I went to what I thought was the high school. Turns out the prison was a juvenile correctional facility. We'll get into that in a minute. And then the high school that I thought was the high school of Dogwood actually ended up being G. Pierce Wood Psychi Psychiatric Hospital. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, don't kill me. It served as an advanced school for pursuit pilots offering a six week course of study. Primary pilot training brought on by World War II, Karlstrom reopened in March of 1990 or 1941. Opening back up in 1941 as a airfield, pretty much. That is where I was. This is Karlstrom Field, but this is 1943. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Boom, boom. This is where I was at, but this is what it looked like back then. If you can see around the areas here, there's no hospital, there was no prison, there's nothing there. There was nothing in this area back then. So it definitely went through a few different hands. It definitely had a lot of changes and whatnot. But if we look at the bird's eye view of this place, I was driving along this wet, uh, this road here on, on the east. Boom. I drove all the way down, my GPS told me I was here, and I pulled in right here on this spot, right here. And I came in, and I went in, and I took a left in the video, and then you can see the high school, which I thought was a high school, but it is not a high school. It's actually the psychiatric ward. But here it is right here, guys. So check this out. In my video, I heard... Um, some voices and different sounds and actually we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison here 
Stay tuned, it's gonna get interesting. But check this out. This place, in 1995, the US Department of, you know, Justice Department, sent a letter to Governor Lawton Childs outlining nine deaths at the facility. Nine. In 1993, a man suffering from delusions and amnesia ran away from the facility, which was unfenced. One month later, his body was found leaning up against a tree one mile from the facility. Now, guys, in my video, there is a man's voice that comes through, but I'm still on the property. So it's not like that that spirit or whatever it was could have put the voice on there unless they just hung out there or whatever. But I'm going to get more into that in just a second. But check this out. Another man ran away, committed suicide on a nearby orange grove. A woman also ran away from the facility, was hit by a car on the new uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike. So this place is known for its mental patients, psychiatric patients, running away and getting out of the place. So that, that's even crazier. Apparently this place was shut down due to malpractices. At least two patients who were supposed to be on soft food diets choked on solid food. One woman was found slumped over a jerry tray chair with her throat and chin on the tabletop. She was supposed to be supervised, but no one was there when she died. Another woman who also supposed to be on suicide watch killed herself August 1994 and after an overnight worker took over after a shift change. By the time her body was found, rigor mortis had already set in. Guys, malpractice. Orderly's not paying attention. Doctors and nurses just not giving a flying flig is what it looks like. I don't know, man. This place has a lot of history to it. And I know that I'm just like bopping around and barely scratching under the surface. But the most important thing here is, guys, I ran across a military airfield psychiatric hospital that was abandoned. And I heard some weird shit. All right. Let's just circle back here real quick. In 1947, it became the site of G. Pierce Wood Memorial Hospital, named after former Speaker of the Florida House of Representative George Pierce Wood Sr., an advocate for mentally ill. In later years, mental health advocates claimed that the care of the hospital was substandard. In the mid-1990s, the U.S. Department of Justice Civil Rights Division investigated G. Pierce Wood after reports of abuse, including beatings, rapes, and deaths of a bunch of residents. One involved an incident of the U.S. Department of Justice said was so frustrated about delays in his release. Although the maintenance building was locked, the man managed to find a ladder, climbed into the upstairs window at night. He used a table saw to cut off both of his hands. Now, guys, with all this craziness going on around this place, okay, and for me to be out there actually checking it out, and like I said, let's get into the side-by-side -side comparison video. In video one that I'm going to show you right now, there are no audio enhancements, which means I can take the audio track from my video, put it into an enhancement thing, and it'll boost all the audio so you guys can hear me loud and clear, like I've done on this video. Ta-da! But when I don't enhance the audio, you can't hear anything. But when I went back through the footage and I looked at the audio that I put on YouTube with the video... I enhanced that audio and you can clearly hear a man saying something. Check this out. Okay guys, let's get into it. So, as you can see I have my video editing software pulled up right now and we are sitting in the studio and we are going to do this side by side comparison real quick. Alright, so let me just explain what's happening here. Let me uh, do this real quick, bam, 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 bam. clip, we're going to get rid of that because we honestly we don't need that. This is the part that we're going to be talking about. So we're going to go check out this stuff. This was in the video that I posted called Nuttyville on YouTube. Hey Rich FL on YouTube. So in this video, I actually, if you can see here, the video says, I boosted the audio here because I can hear music coming in and out and it sounded like it was coming from inside. And I asked you guys if you can hear it. So, boom. That's that video. Okay. This video here is the original video. Before I said anything about boosting audio or anything. So, in this video here, you can't hear the man's voice. But in this video here, 
you can. And I, I want, you know, I want some feedback from you guys. Let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to the first one without the boosted audio. So here we go, guys. So we're going to go check out this stuff. Hang tight. All right. As you can see, you can hear my voice from behind the microphone. So I'm behind the microphone. You can clearly tell my voice. So we're going to go check out this stuff. Hang tight. something unnerving all right so all right so we made it through that first part and as you can tell on the other video right here is where I'm saying that I boosted the audio as we're walking past this palm tree and in the video right here we're walking past the palm tree notice you guys didn't hear anything in here let's just play it one more time All right. About walking around. Okay, so nothing. You hear nothing. So you can tell I'm talking here. This is the boosted audio track. All right. As you can see, it's even labeled enhanced audio. I don't know if you guys can read that, but that's what it says. But this is the boosted audio track. Now you guys tell me what you hear. So we're gonna go check out this stuff. Hang tight. Something unnerving. Did you guys hear that? Wow. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it is the guy that ran away from the psych ward and they found his body. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But drop a comment. Let me let me know what you guys think. You know what I mean? Because it'd be awesome to, to hear from you guys and you know see where you guys are going with it. Now. You guys saw that. We walked past this area right here. We saw nothing. We heard nothing. I mean, you can kind of hear a little something in the background, but it sounds more like music coming from on the inside of the prison here. But outside of that, nothing. Now check this out. This video here is the video clip from the actual YouTube video. And this is where I boosted the audio in the video and as you can see here I put I boosted the audio here because it can seem like some music's coming from inside it definitely wasn't music it definitely wasn't music why don't you guys comment down here let me know what you think this person said it's very inaudible I don't know how to explain what he says I wish I could slow it down and do more of this and that but you know I just I just can't explain it and you can hear my voice right before it. Then you can hear whatever the man is saying. And then right after the man says what he says, I immediately start talking again. And you can hear me say, there's something unnerving about this place. And it's just creepy. It's, it's, it's wild. It blows my mind that I couldn't see it on the actual footage and I couldn't hear it on the actual footage. But on the footage that I audio enhanced and put out for you guys, you can actually hear somebody saying something. I don't know what he's saying. Maybe you guys can like comment down in the comment section here. Drop your comment. Let me know if you think you know what the person is saying. But back to the story. Check this out, guys. In 1993, a man suffered from delusions and amnesia ran away from the city, which was unfenced. Yes, I get that. But check this out. Right here, Mental Hospital faces questions after death. John Oding, 59, died in Port Charlotte Nursing Home after his brother was told he had fallen at G. Pierce Wood. Oding had recently lived in Pinellas County, although spent most of his last decade or so in a psychiatric hospital in Arcadia. James K. Green, West Palm Beach lawyer, actually went in and, and made a few statements 
about how the staff was unsafe, the patients were in an unsafe environment. A lot of the patients, a lot of the patients that were at this place actually complained that they've been locked up in their room for 24 hours. They wouldn't get out. They wouldn't have baths. They'd been raped. They'd been beaten. And sometimes it causes a lot of people to die. And there was a lot of deaths on the property. So it brings me to concern that the voice from this may be the voice of John Oding's brother. Do we know for sure? Not really. It's all speculation at this point. But I tell you what, I'd like to try to find out more. And that's probably what I'm going to do. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do, actually. We're going to find out more. <laughs> but let's keep it moving. After reports of abuse and neglect, the U.S. Department of Justice Civil Rights Division began a formal investigation into the hospital in June. This place, this place has a lot going on. And it's no wonder that this place had people there trying to keep people out. Actually, in this portion of the abandoned Florida, it says right here. The property owner has requested anyone found trespassing on the property be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Whoops. Guys, pray for me. I hope I don't get in trouble. But anyway, moving on. It is said to have been purchased by an auto racing team. And in my video, you can actually see I pull up next to the auto racing place. And there's like a Mitsubishi Lancer in the background there with no plate on it. But apparently that place bought it to make it into a racing facility, which the plans for that actually never fully went through. So now it's just Southwest Florida Aviation, and that's it. But guys, I'm going to be honest with you. If you take a look at this map right here, where I was was this facility right here. Because I went around and I went past here and this is where I turned left and the prison was back here where we went and did our hunt at the prison. You know, it was in the back there. And then right next to it was Southwest Florida Aviation. Now it makes sense because this place was Karlstrom Field. Karlstrom Airfield. So yeah, there's an aviation place there, but I'm going to be honest with you, when I looked at it, you could tell it was old, it was decrepit, there was no airplanes around, the only one piece of aeronautical anything that I saw there was like a broken down helicopter, and when I went to the door, I knocked on the door, and as soon as the door opened, the people were like, I hope you're not filming me, please, I don't want to be on camera, shut it off, so I was like... Okay, I shut it down. I proceeded to tell them I was there, what I was doing, and just checking it out. And at the time, they really didn't seem like they had an issue with me being there. But now that I'm thinking back on it, it it's kind of strange to have an aeronautical place with dogs on the inside of the office and, and as a consumer, or even if I was a pilot, and I went there and went to the front door, I wouldn't be able to get in. I opened up the door and I'd be attacked by a bunch of dogs. So I, I that 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 makes no sense, but let's move past that. Then while I was checking out the psychiatric hospital that I didn't know was a psychiatric hospital until now, I was approached by two people. And you know what? Screw it. We're gonna put it all out there right now. Two Mexicans, one in regular clothes, one didn't even get out of the car. And when I say I did they might not have even been Mexican, they were Spanish. Let's just put it that way two Spanish people one in a black shirt and one didn't get out of the car he came up to me and he had a real nasty attitude almost like he was protecting something which was just even worse because when he got out of the car now excuse my weird little accent when he got out of the car he's like hey you you supposed to not be here and he yelled at me and I was like whoa take it easy man my name is Richard Hahn I'm a youtuber I'm doing some urban exploration here's my card I gave him my card and, and he immediately said put a camera away and turn it off I don't want to be on there and don't record here and I was like whoa now guys I don't really know if these people actually own the place or if it was just somebody randomly there but it was a little off needless to say he got me nervous to a point where I was like, maybe I should just get the fuck out of here. And at the end of my video, you can see, I don't want to cause any problems. I'm just going to skate. I'm going to slide out of here. We'll come back another time, which that will happen. Because now I'm even more interested to know 
that I was looking for pine level and came across Karlstrom. And on the map, pine level is literally behind Karlstrom. So no wonder my GPS said I was there, but I never made it there. I never made it actually to the city. I thought I was in the city and just didn't make it to the church, graveyard, and mall. No, I was at Karlstrom Military Airfield and Psychiatric Hospital. Which is even more insane that you can't be there because right where you turn in, right here, guys, this section right here where you turn in, right here in this triangle, it says DeSoto Business Park. So therefore, if it's me and I needed to do business, I am a consumer. I am allowed to go into a business park to go handle business. What I see on my way in and what I see on my way out, that's scenery. So I don't understand how it could be trespassing. The gate could be wide open. There's a business park in there and you can't go in, but there's a Southwest Florida aviation, but you're not allowed to be there. So what is really going on there, guys? I have no clue. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you have any idea about what's going on at this place. And as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Drop a like, a sub, a comment. Let me know you're here. Follow along for more adventures, because guess what, guys? We're about to take off on another crazy adventure. I'm actually going to have a couple of friends of mine, and we're going to go out and we're going to do a series called Doing Sketchy Shit. That's when we're going to check out all of Charlotte County, Bean Depot, Bum City, you know, all these little other places around Charlotte County and kind of just see what's out there. <laughs> Again, guys, thanks for watching. Check the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And then, as always, have a sick-ass day, everyone. Peace.